Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So guys, in this today's video, we will learn about the conditional formatting. Okay, so now guys, coming to the very basic. So conditional formatting is used to change the appearance of cell in a range based on your specific conditions. Okay, so let me explain you this thing in a very simple way. So guys, we set a condition in the Excel. Okay, and according to which our cell like appearance will change. Okay that appearance could also be the background and that appearance could be anything okay so now let me show you with a good example how this conditional formatting works so before it first set me a heading okay perfect so guys now let us create a data suppose we have a roll number of a student here okay and we have uh, marks of the student in the suppose ct1 we have and touch me guys that this conditional formatting would be used like many times infinite times it will be used in this excel because guys this is a very important topic the conditional formatting okay so let me complete this Okay, let me again create for the CD3. And guys, if there is still any issue, you can definitely ask me your query in the comment box or the chat box. Okay, I will try my best to resolve all your query. Okay, guys, so now what we will do, okay, I hope guys that till here there is no issue so now what we will do we will use a if formula here okay so now let me start with the if okay so we have to write now the logical test okay so now logical test is a range okay so for we want uh, suppose uh, the student to be highlighted who those marks are less than the 60 so what we will do let i will select this cell okay i hope that till here there is no issue i have selected this cell okay now i will select the this okay i have written the 60 okay i want the student below the 60 number to be highlighted after that and now I will write the condition. Now it will be true. It will be in the double quotes. Okay, guys, you have to take care of the quotes. Otherwise, it will definitely give you an error. Okay, now here we will set the condition. Wait a second. Why it is not working? Yeah, perfect. So now let me set the condition here for the false. Okay, perfect. See guys, now we are getting the false because the 46 is less than the 60. So we know that our formula is running perfectly fine. Okay. So now what will we do? So now guys, we will do a very simple thing here. So we will copy this formula. Okay. Let me copy this. So the first step is you have to copy the formula. Then what you have to do, we have to select this. Okay, wait a second. What has happened here? Oh, guys, I have to again write the formula. No issue. This. 60. Okay. Yeah, 
perfect so i will let me select the formula from the here control plus c then i will copy it now i will go to the conditional formatting with a second so now i have copied the formula now i will select all the cells now i will go to the conditional formatting okay so now i have to here go to the new rule yeah perfect okay so now what i will do i have to select this use formula to determine which cell to format then in this format i will select the wait a second i will select the color okay now i want that the student below the 60 marks to be marked as the red so okay so now as soon as i press okay formula you enter does not evaluate the number date or string okay wait a second i have to paste the formula here guys there is a problem with this formula not trying to type a formula when the first character is equal to when the actual thing it's a formula you type guys we were not having a comma in that false okay guys so now you as you can see that the student okay we have done a little bit blender in our formula i have to reverse the sign here yeah okay no issue guys we are get, i have actually selected the wrong color i have to select it the green okay no issue let me again show you with an perfect example for the ct2 okay so now what i will do i will again create a formula here okay i will again use this if okay then i will select this logical test okay if c5 is greater equal to let me 50 then it will be true or else it will be false okay guys okay we are getting the true here no issue let me copy down this formula now what i will do <laughs> again we have done a mistake let me do this operation on this c3 okay no no issue If C3 is greater than the 40, okay, then it will be true, okay, and otherwise it will be false. Perfect. So now, guys, I have copied the formula okay so now i have to again select this cell now i have to go this again conditional formatting new rule then i have to select this again i have to paste the formula here then i will select the colors okay so now if i click the okay here see guys okay so now all the marks above the 40 are marked in the green okay so now guys as you can see now it is very much easy for us to understand okay and one more thing so okay wait a second let me undo this okay one more thing if i change this 34 to the 50 so you will see guys this is also turned to the green okay and if i change this 67 to the 10 it will remove from the green okay guys this thing is very much used in the like data analysis in the big company okay let me again show you with a good example how you can do so equal to if you you have to use if the logical text 55 okay 55 then to 50 okay perfect it will be true or else false okay 
so the formula is working very much properly so now what we will do i will copy down the formula okay now i will select all these cells here again go to this conditional formatting new rule we'll copy the formula here okay and i will select the color see guys now all the numbers above the 50 uh, 50 are marked in the blue okay and now if i change this 24 the 74 it will be marked in the blue okay guys i hope that this thing is very much clear to you guys and please subscribe to our channel dev town and please like this video and also hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from the dev town thank you very much guys